three ways that brain spect imaging can help understand and treat ADD and ADHD. The first is spect imaging actually shows us how the brain works. Spect imaging is different from something like an MRI or a CT scan, which is looking at the structure of the brain. In a spect scan, what we're looking at is where blood goes in the brain and blood flow tells us about function. High blood flow, high activity, low blood flow, low activity. Based on this type of work, we've been able to identify seven different subtypes of ADHD, including classic ADHD, inattentive ADHD, limbic ADHD, anxious ADHD, overfocused ADHD, ring of fire ADHD, and temporal lobe ADHD. Here's the thing, if you just talk to a psychiatrist about your symptoms, they're not necessarily gonna be able to differentiate which subtype you have. And the reason for that is psychiatry hasn't changed much in the last 100 or 200 years. It's all based on hearing about symptoms and making a diagnosis. But when you have imaging, it can give you some objective data to help support a diagnosis and get you a better treatment plan.